Now, before starting the video, I would like to talk about the sponsor of this video, KeysFan. KeysFan.com offers cheap and legal OEM software keys in an easy way. You can activate software such as Windows and Microsoft Office in a fast and reliable way with these keys that are 100% official and suitable for online activation. Moreover, they offer lifetime after sales support in addition to 24 by seven customer support. The Black Friday sale is on right now, so don't miss Keys Fan Mega Discount. If you are interested, you can check the links in the description. Add the product you need to your cart and catch 52% discount for Windows Series with RTG52 and 62% discount for Microsoft Office and Bundle with RTG62. Don't forget to check the descriptions for details. What's going on everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. Today in this video, I'm going to test out the latest WinLater emulator on Xiaomi Poco F6. And it is 12 gigabyte RAM model, powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 8S Gen 3 with Adreno 735 GPU. It possesses a three cluster core architecture, identical to that of the 8 Gen 3 processor. All right, simply I'll close this thing. Now the WinLater setup is the same as what we did in our recent videos. So this is the WinLater official GitHub page. Simply go to releases, download the latest version eight package. Simply install the package. All right, now close everything. Open WinLater and grant the necessary permissions. The setup process remains the same. Now head over to settings. Set box 64 version to 0.3.1, preset to performance. Now save settings. Add new container. Set the screen resolution. In turn up configuration, I'll leave it to the default version. Also enable sync on DXVK. It all depends on the version you choose to play the games. I'll leave it to default. Now OK. Set audio driver to pulse audio. Enable FPS meter if you want. Set the GPU name to at least GTX 1070 or higher. It is recommended. Set video memory size to maximum. These settings apply to all users, including those with Adreno 735, 740 as well. Let's go to environment variables. Add new variable. Select DXVK HUD. Set value to one. To enable a detailed FPS meter and other features, you can use this option. However, if you don't need it, it's optional and you can simply delete it later. Go to the drive section. I received many comments like, where to copy the games? Let me show you. Simply open file manager. So this is the default path where you need to copy all the stuff from PC. It is always recommended to copy pre-installed games from your PC, including their data. However, if you want to install Windows games directly on your phone, it will take a lot of time. You can also set create your own custom folder path where you copied. Now to advanced, set startup selection to aggressive, set Windows version seven or 10. And in processor affinity, enable all CPU cores. Now save the container. All right, now boot. And there we go, toggle to full screen. Now go to start. Let's first check out the Direct 3D. All right, it's fine. This version turnip driver is configured pretty well on this chip. All right, now it's time to test. Let's first test GTA 5. And these are the settings that have been applied at 720p normal settings. son, James. He's a good kid. He's a good kid? A, a good kid. Hey, nigga. He should have paid the nizzo. <laughs> and you got to grind to keep that shit. Now it's back on us. Hell yeah. I want to see what it do. Hey, hit me on the speakerphone, bro. Oh, it's like that? For sure, homie.
Next up is Vice Wave, a quite intensive game, especially when you look at its requirements. And everything is set to low at 720p resolution. Since the arrival of refugees in the city, the work things. Sure, but promise me that you won't risk that much fucking wallet anymore. I have a proposal. Let's discuss it on the way to the bar. If you say so, Uncle. Now let's test Stray, a quite more intensive GPU demanding DirectX 12 based title. Let's go to settings. Here I set it to 720p low settings at 60% resolution. That's all for this video guys, hope you liked. Also subscribe us for more. I'll be doing more tests on it soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.